Okay, hey, it's Bruce Latch. We're at Time and Stars Refinishing. We got this chair that a customer had just bought. He took it out of the box. It might have sat in it for a day or two, I'm not sure. But it wasn't very long. It was a brand new chair. Um, he said it was really wobbly, so he called me up, and here it is. The chair is disassembled. Um, it's not really a badly made chair. At least it's got a nice mortise design. With wood dowel, you know, as a wood dowel would be, um, so that's good. But you can see right here, check it out, come on over there. They never really put any glue in there, there's no glue on a joint anyway. There might have been a little bit right here, but there's never any glue along there. So we got the whole chair disassembled because um, he's got six of these chairs. So we're just gonna show you how the chair should be glued up. Is this video might actually, um, I'm going to send a copy of the video to the man. He might want to send this to whoever he bought the chair from to get reimbursed a little bit. We're getting a lot of glue inside the joint and along the edges on both pieces. So I'm making a mess of my nice carpet here. Now you can't expect the chair to hold up if there's no glue in the joint. It's the glue that holds the chair together. Hey Jenna, honey, will you give me a clean rag? Yeah. Right here, Jenna. I mean a wet rag. The water's on top of the fridge. Unless I have someone, I have someone that pup up there. Here, come over and show them. See how we got that glue like that? See how the glue in the joint there? Yeah, that's how the chair should be put together with lots of sloppy glue dripping out of the joint so you can clean it up. Okay. You want those little clippers? Oh, 
See, that's the only evidence the glue that was originally on it. It was right here. You don't see any glue along here. Was it at all? Same thing here. You just see it here. This joint's totally clean. Got another big rag for me, Joe. Yeah, you want to get some more water? Can you soak the rag down? Okay. You see that pretty good? Oh yeah. See me wiggling the chair leg back and forth because there's a lot of glue in there. You see the glue squirting out? And that's what I want to do. I want to see a flush joint. I want to see glue squirting out of what I worked on. And the glue just cleans right up really nicely with water. Take a little 
bit of time that I want to... Almost done with it. Now we got to come across... Well, let me see how these are right there here. So it's got a little gap in it. Sometimes I gotta take the one with the clamp, put it under a pinch. See my glue joint there nice nice and tight. See the glue squirting out? Yep. That is what I wanna see. I don't think any of these rags are wet. Can you get me a nice wet stopping rag? I'm not washing my face here. You know, we got the gap over here. Can you see it, Corey? Yep. See how I wiggle it and it starts to come back together. Now I gotta get it down below. I'll get this side a little bit too. What do you think, Dusty? squirting right out of that one. Did you see it? Oh yeah. Pop that loose again. That's a good joint, I think. That is a lot of glue coming out of there. So, you shouldn't have to do this when you buy a brand new chair, take it to a refinishing shop and have it glued back up. But the customer said it's kind of a hassle to box them up too. So. I think we just got one more over here. A little gap. Right there, see it? Yep. I just want to get that. Look at this clamp here that's got a monk. There we go. And of course, I grab, I wiggle back and forth. See what I wiggled right here? Come on over here. I wiggle it back and forth. Now I can tighten it up a touch more. Good. So basically, that's it. We're not going to show a whole lot more. I'm just going to wipe this glue up. And my next step is my corner, corner block. So I took it out. I'm going to clip that pin off. Clean this up a little bit, put some glue here and put it back, and this chair should be in good shape for quite a while. So, thank you and have a nice day.